Just like all workers, professional cyclists must face retirement at some point in their career. And today, we will be remembering the careers of 10 cyclists who have decided to make that decision and hang up their bike in 2021. Before we start, it's best to know that in cycling, there is no fixed age for retirement. Just look at Alejandro Valverde, for example. However, all 10 of the riders on our list have opted to bow out their professional peloton for a plethora of different reasons this year. Nevertheless, let's get going with our top 10 list of retirees with number 10, Marco Mercato. The 37-year-old Italian Marco Marcato is a former winner of Paris Tour, the oldest race in cycling, and has had a reputation as a versatile sprinter over the years. The UAE Team Emirates rider has also been a useful teammate throughout the years, most notably helping Tadej Pogacar to success in recent years. It may have been nine years since his last victory, but Marco Marcato can look forward to new projects in 2022 as he leaves the bunch. Number 9. Marcel Zibag as the oldest rider on our list, Marcel Zieberg has spent 16 years as a professional. In his line of work, Zieberg will be remembered for piloting the likes of Andre Greipel and Mark Cavendish to victory. The German lead out is a bit of an expert when it comes to the classics, however, taking the start line of Paris Roubaix on 13 occasions, including a seventh place back in 2016. Sadly, however, Zieber could not complete his final Paris Bay this year, but the German will go into retirement with a smile on his face following the victory of his teammate Zonny Cobrelli there. Number 8. Matteo Pellucci Wildcard sprint of the 2010s, Matteo Pellucci will be retiring in 2021 after a decade in the peloton. The Italian fastman has enjoyed World Tour success at the Tour de Polonia and Tirreno Adriatico in 2014 and 15 respectively. The Italian may not have ridden a Grand Tour since 2017, but the sprinter will go down as one of the most unpredictable sprinters of the past 10 years. Number 7. Matthias Frank Always a little bit under the radar, Matthias Frank has enjoyed a solid career in the GC battles. The 34-year-old Swissman has hung up his wheels in 2021 after a stint at the Ange de Zez Citroën team. However, most of Frank's success came when he rode with the Swiss I Am Cycling squad, where he took a top 10 at the Tour de France, Tour de Suisse, as well as a stage at the 2016 Vuelta a España. Matthias already left the peloton back in June, but he will go down as one of the best-ranked Swiss riders in recent history. Number 6. TJ Van Garderen Once considered as America's next hope, TJ Van Garderen will be bidding a fond farewell to the pro peloton this season. TJ may not have had the best run into his retirement, but the classy American has claimed Grand Tour stage wins as well as a Tour de France white jersey back in 2012. The GC specialist has seen success mostly at the Tour de France, with two fifth places overall under his belt, as well as a team time trial win alongside his old BMC squad. Now retiring with EF, we look forward to seeing what TJ Van Garderen can do next in his career. Number 5. Nico Roach Always a fixture in Irish cycling, it's time for the next generation of the Roach family to end their professional career. Nicholas Roach has spent a long time in the pro peloton at a plethora of superstar teams, including Tinkoff Saxo, Team Sky, and BMC. However, the time has come for him to leave the pro peloton. The French-born Irishman has seen successes all over the board with national titles and Grand Tour stage wins. However, Roach's strongest performance has to be his phenomenal ride at the 2013 Volta a España. On that race, Roach claimed a stage win as well as a stint in the red jersey before finishing fifth overall in Madrid. So the welterweight, you were the leader. It took mm. very, it was very quick before you took a stage win. You won on stage two. Yeah. How was that stage? It looked absolutely amazing on TV. Yeah, it was a uh, well, one. It was beautiful scenery, all right. Galicia is spectacular, but the stage was 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 good. It was quite short. I remember it was like 170k, 180k, but very dynamic. With a, with a really nice climb. And I just remember I, I, was, I was in really, really good shape. I was just back from, from altitude camp with uh, Roman Fusiger. And uh, I remember Roman saying, Nico, you have to level for top five. And I was all mentally ready for it. And uh, in the first day in the team time trial, I, I, was, I was flying. I, I knew I was in the shape of, of my career that far. And um, the morning of the stage, actually, it just Bjarn came up and took me by the shoulders and says, Nico, today is yours. You must believe it. Uh, today, today we ride. Today we put you in position. Uh, we did because we were there a couple of days before, and it was close to the hotel. So we actually did the recon of that stage. And Bjorn, from already the day one, told me that it was something I could potentially win. So for three days, Bjorn was telling me I could win it. I could win it. I could win it. And then that morning, I was like, Nico, you can win it. 
today you win. And not often that happens in my career, actually. But that day when my, my legs were really good and Rafa and Roman did an amazing job to keep me in position. And then um, when I saw Koenig go and I felt that Movistar weren't pulling fast enough, I was like, all right, if I feel the pace is not fast enough and there's only 30 riders left and Koenig is gone, I think I should give it a go. Because I knew that 500 meters to the finish, it was all downhill. But I, I knew also that I could do 1K at so many watts and come back and maybe do this. And maybe, so I chanced it. I said, all right, I have nothing to lose. Because even if I explode, I, know, I, knew, I knew that if I was caught before the, 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 the drag down, I wasn't going to lose time. So I just said, all right, why not? It's 2K to go or not even. I think it was 1K to go, 1.5K to go. And I said, I'm just, just going to chance it. Uh, and I and I went and then it worked out really good. So I was I was quite proud of myself. I won the race like I always wanted to win a bike race. So I, I was for me it's one of my my my, my good and, and most memorable memorable wins. Number four, Dan Martin. Dan Martin is a part of an elite club to win both Il Lombardia and Liège Baston Liège. The Irishman has also tamed all three Grand Tours by winning stages at all of them, most recently at the 2021 Giro d'Italia. Nevertheless, the classic specialist is bowing out of cycling this year, just like his cousin Nicholas Roach. Dan will go down for his many exploits in the Ardennes, but one memory that will remain for a long time is the sight of him dancing away from the pack alongside a man dressed as a panda on his way to victory at Liège Baston Liège in 2013. Number 3. Tony Martin after a long and illustrious career, Tony Martin, affectionately known as the Panzer Wagon, will be hanging up his bike in 2021. Following what has been a brutal season for the German, Martin will bid farewell after having spent years at the top of the time trial discipline. In fact, Tony Martin has a total of four World Individual Time Trial Championships, as well as a plethora of team victories as well at the UCI Road World Championships. His Palmares also include stages at the Tour de France, a yellow jersey stint, as well as an overall win at Paris-Nice. Number 2. Fabio Aru as the only Grand Tour winner on our list, Fabio Aru has enjoyed a successful career at the top level of cycling. Of course, the 2015 Vuelta a España is his biggest victory, but Aru has conquered mountains at all three Grand Tours, including a supreme victory at La Planche de Belfi in 2017. In addition to this, the Sardinian has worn all three Grand Tour leaders' jerseys, as well as the iconic Tricolore jersey. Aru's retirement came as a shock to many, but the Italian can now focus on new goals and relax a little bit on the beaches of his home nation of Italy. And finally, coming in at number one, it is Andre Greipel. The sprinter known as the Gorilla will go down in history as one of the defining fast men of the last decade. With wins at all three Grand Tours, Greipel was a titan of the fast finishes, with a total of 11 stage wins at the Tour de France. Although he never won a green jersey, Greipel had a phenomenal record, taking wins at the Tour de France on six consecutive editions. Despite this record, Greipel is bowing out in 2021 after a farewell tour at Israel Startup Nation. Nevertheless, Greipel's healthy victory tally and muscular stature will certainly be his legacy in professional cycling. Well, there you go. There's our top 10 lists of riders leaving the professional peloton this year. It's safe to say that we will miss these riders greatly in the years to come. So tell us down below what some of your favorite memories are from these retirees. Anyways, that's everything from us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you around.